Hi everyone and welcome along to this week's Quick Fix. Now, uh, the UK has been experiencing a heat wave like no other this week, uh, the week we've been filming. And it made me think that a lot of you ask me questions a lot of the time about um, how your paint and your paper dry out too fast, whether it's how much water you're using and, and various other things. And I thought, well, actually, there's always the fact that the humidity and the heat where you're painting might also have something to do with it. So I thought this would be the perfect time to have a quick chat about how to give you some of my top tips for painting in hot conditions. So the first thing is, is whether you're painting inside or outside. So we'll talk about inside first. So it's going to be a warm place. Uh, you're going to be indoors. Um, we always want a bit of uh, ventilation, it's always really, really good to have your windows just to crack open, but keep your blinds um, low so that the really hot sun isn't getting in too far. But of course then, what do you do about natural light? Well, you can get yourself a daylight lamp. I've put the episode notes, uh, a link to the one I use. And the other thing is a bit of ventilation. I use just a really cheap little desk fan. And the reason I use a cheap one is because it's only got a gentle amount of um, power because you don't want something blowing a gust around and blowing your paper all over the place. And also your paint, if it's really wet on the page, it might run if you've got a really strong fan blowing against it. Now, the other thing is the water. Now, I use a little um, bottle, a mister, a bottle of water that's just got a spray that means I can just keep things nice and wet. Um, so misting your paints like this, sorry, I'm just, I'm not pressing it properly because I don't want it to go everywhere for filming, but having a little mist bottle just keeps everything nice and wet on your paints. And you can also use it to wet your paper because this is the next thing, the speed at which paint goes on the paper is going to dry up much faster. So the first thing I'd say is when you're painting in a wash, you want to try and use a much larger brush than you might use before, as long as you've still got the control of it, because that larger brush is going to cover the paper far faster than the little one, allowing you a much smoother blend of a wash. However, you could also use the mist bottle to spray your paper, get it wet, and then you can go ahead with popping your colour on. So let's now talk about going outside into the sunshine, painting outside, which is absolutely wonderful. Nature journaling, obviously in the summer, there's all sorts of exciting plant life and wildlife. Still have your mist bottle ready, all the more useful because when you are outside, it might just be a little trickier to have a jar of water sort of around and about. I'd recommend getting up early, getting up 6 a.m. if you can, get outside before the light is really strong and harsh because once the sun is high in the sky, you're going to find that you get harsh light and harsh shadows cast across your paper and it's going to be hard to actually see what you're painting. This also means that any colors you do put down on the page uh, in this harsh sunlight, when you bring your piece of paper and your painting back inside afterwards, it might actually look a little different, a bit darker, a bit duller, or a bit brighter and stronger than you thought it was whilst outside. So try and keep yourself out of really, really strong light. If you can find a shady spot, then that's the very best. So don't forget to have plenty of water for drinking as well as uh, actually using on the painting. Keep um, your sun cream topped up, whatever factor is appropriate for you. And uh, yeah, just enjoy yourself, be safe, but just remember that water is going to dry into the page far faster than normal. So think about ways in which you can quickly um, paint with a larger brush or just keep mindful of the speed at which everything is going to dry up. Thanks so much for watching and good luck. Uh, be safe out in the sun and enjoy the lovely weather.